I wasn't going to do any recording today. I wasn't because I did some already, but the sun's just come out and it is so pretty, so I couldn't just not. I gotta show you guys this view. How are you? I hope things have been good. I hope you've been alright. The three morning habits of extremely successful people. I actually asked around for this as well. Uh, my dad knows a couple of quite wealthy, successful people in Ibiza, and it was just I just asked him like what their morning habits are, and I was surprised about how easy it was but how so many of us don't do it. Stick to the end of the video because I'm going to reveal to you the three things that successful people do. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The first one is meditating. Meditating in the morning. I already do this myself, so I do know the big amount of benefits that come from it. When you meditate like first thing in the morning, you end up becoming way more mindful and present of that current moment you're in. So when you go out throughout your whole day, you're not overthinking as much, which is really, really helpful when it comes to making decisions. Whether it's small decisions or very big important decisions, maybe in your business, or maybe to leave that nine to five job to make your own business. And not only that, the amount of like positive thinking that I get from meditating, when I wake up in the morning and I don't meditate, which does happen, I do have days off, it does happen, it happens to everyone. I notice a big difference where I don't feel good. I don't feel positive. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm gonna have a good day. Compared to days where I do meditate, I know that I'm gonna have a good day. The second one is no instant gratification. How many of us, first thing when we wake up, the first thing we do is grab our phones. I used to do this a lot. I used to sleep with my phone. It's the first thing I went to bed with and the first thing I woke up with. Which is really weird. That's what like people do with like their wives and husbands. That you're doing the same thing with a phone. That's that's kind of weird. And that's actually helped me like stop sleeping with my phone. How many of us do that? First thing we do when we grab our phones is just scroll on Instagram. We start giving in to instant gratification. Maybe we wake up and we have maybe a, a bit of junk food first thing. We're not really pushing ourselves. We're not challenging ourselves and we know we aren't. When you wake up, no instant gratification. This is probably gonna be the hardest out of the three because you're actually telling yourself to not do something that you're so used to doing. When my dad was explaining to me like the routine that his friend does in Ibiza, the first thing he does is like yoga, meditating in the morning, and he doesn't touch his phone at all. Doesn't watch TV, doesn't do anything. He doesn't even have food. He cooks after he's done everything. He also cooks for himself and he doesn't have junk food. He's got such a big, nice house as well. I love going over it, it's so nice. And the third one, deep work. Just entering this sort of like mode where you start doing the deep work. Something also known as eat the frog, which is basically doing the hardest tasks you have out of all that day, doing that first thing. I have to say, like, if there's only one thing you take from this video, this is probably like the one that will make the biggest amount of difference. Within the first 10 minutes of you waking up, you start doing something productive, like you start entering this deep work. For me, there have been days where I've had an off day, where I haven't meditated, I haven't like, you know, like woken up on such a great way, but there is something that I will always do, even if I don't wake up so productive, and I haven't meditated, I haven't done gratitude journaling, I will always, no matter what, enter a deep work. Whether it's recording, whether it's editing, whether it's scripting, I will always do this, no matter what. Because it makes up for it, and I still end up having a good productive day. And also, because it gets rid of the hardest tasks, first thing. Look, there are times where I don't want to do things. It is normal. I'm not some sort of saint, I'm human, just like you. There are days where I don't want to go to the gym. And that happened a lot when I first started going to the gym. There are days where this happens, but to overcome this, I made it the first thing that I did throughout my whole day, which isn't actually that good because you don't really make a lot of progress because if you want to be able to lift more, you got to eat more throughout the end of the day so you have more energy. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. But the first thing I did was went to the gym straight away first thing in the morning. And eventually that became one of the easiest things of the day and I started putting the next hardest thing of the day 
first thing. These are the three things that you 100% need if you want to make a difference in your mornings and you actually want to start getting somewhere. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you're already subscribed, another video will pop up in the corner. And if you like this video, you should 100% click on this because this could definitely change your life. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.